Hey girls, it's Tuesday. This week was where and when in time would we go if the doctor offered to take us to five places. Now I'm not a historical buff like Lizzie says she is and I totally believe her. I mean those facts about Anne, Bonnie and Mary Reed were amazing. But I have been a fan of sci-fi, especially those that include time travel for quite a bit. I think my favorite thing that's ever dealt with time travel is Futurama, especially with their paradox preventing time travel machine. So since we learned about ancient societies in grade five, I've always been super interested in ancient Greek, Roman, and Egyptian culture. So I figured the best time to go into the past would be around Cleopatra VII's reign as the final pharaoh of Egypt because that's when all those societies kind of collided. Egyptian culture still existed but Roman and Greek culture was becoming more prominent. So I'm figuring like around 45 BC. I also have a bit of interest in Cleopatra VII. She just seems like a really interesting person being a really strong female pharaoh. Trying to be a good leader of her country while still accepting the fact that Egypt is one other place in the past that I wanted to go and that would be Germany around the turn of the century. I am a psychology major as I mentioned before and the turn of the century was when Freud did a lot of his psychoanalytical theory so this was when psychology was really starting to become something prominent in society. I would totally love to be psychoanalyzed by Freud even though most of his theories have been found to be not real or completely not real or completely unjustified, I still think it'd be so neat to be able to be part of the first steps of psychology developing into the science that it's still working on becoming today. The next place I'd like to travel to is pretty close. It's more of a traveling to a place and less of a time thing because I could really just wait until this date because it's this year. June 15th is the date of the next full lunar eclipse, though it's only going to be seen on the other side of the world. I've seen one lunar eclipse in my life, missed all the solar eclipses. It's really disappointing that I haven't seen these things because I'm really into them. So yeah, the next full lunar eclipse is on June 15th this year. So if you're in Europe or Asia or any of those places on the last side of the world, you'll definitely be able to see it. If you're here in North America, like myself, you will miss it, unless you have the doctor to take you there. And I figure since I'll be in Europe anyway, I might as well just stop by England, go see you, Sarah, and do some Charlie, Alex, Tom, Ed, Liam, whoever else is in Europe, YouTuber stalking, or I mean, uh, run into's and then not follow around for a little bit later. Fourth time and place I'd like to visit is New York City on December 31st, 2999 slash January 1st, the year 3000. There's a lot of pop culture that deals with the year 3000. There's a song by Bested, which was covered by the Jonas Brothers, and Futurama it takes place in the year 3000. Also, it's New Year's Eve in New York City. If humanity is still around, the next millennium is going to be even bigger and better than 1999 to year 2000. I know that was huge. I just want to see how humanity ends up almost a thousand years from now and just experience that super huge New Year's Eve party that is likely to be occurring because New Year's Eve is my favorite, favorite, favorite holiday. For my last place, I was really stuck on where to go. I wanted to go to the beginning of the Earth, but I feel like it's probably not just one quick event that I could watch, it progressed over time and that wouldn't really be fun unless I could do a sort of a time-lapsed viewing of it and I don't know if that's possible for the TARDIS to do. And the end of the Earth is already covered by Doctor Who so I don't, I don't think I want to experience that, it turned out so poorly. I decided on something pretty simple in the past, just the summer of 2007. It was when the last Harry Potter book came out, another Harry Potter movie came out, there was all this Harry Potter culture, there were wizard rock bands on tour, and it's when all these YouTubers started becoming really big and popular and starting to get to know each other, and I just feel like it'd be a really good time to be able to experience it. I was in my basement in denial of my complete and utter nerdiness and love for all those wonderful things. So I'd like to either be able to go back and kick myself in the butt and be like, yo, get on this, pay attention this summer, or just experience myself as the person who I am today. 
I really, really liked this task for this week, and I am really excited to see the rest of the girls on um, places that they want to go see. Candace, I'll see you tomorrow.